the widest uses of vacuum furnaces you never heard of. What does weird means? Sometimes we talk about custom furnaces, sometimes we talk about special furnaces or individual furnaces, and sometimes we talk about standard equipment. It's like uh, we can fly with uh, typical and standard Airbus A320, or sometimes we can see special cargo planes like Antonov 224. And this is something what we have for today. Our expert today, Paweł Okinczyc, will tell us about weird furnaces for the heat treatment. Let's start. Paweł, if we talk about custom furnaces for the heat treatment, how do you see it? The example with, with Antonov was uh, really nice uh, because we make something similar in, in the past. I mean, equipment for um, for um, aviation industry for for landing gears. Usually, it's quite big equipment because of the landing gears uh, are uh, really huge. So, and in case of landing gears, we can talk about really large. Uh, working zone of the furnace exactly exactly and uh, in past we we supply to one of our customer uh, a triple chamber um, furnace uh, vertical orientation with working zone 4.3 meter 4.3 meters of the height of the working zone exactly but total um, let's say size of the furnace was much bigger because it, it was triple chamber furnace with loading um, chamber, uh, process chamber over uh, oil tank and because of that the total installation was really huge, like, so because, like track. Because of material specification we need to use the oil quenching, yes, and uh, working zone 4.3 meters, total height of the furnace, you know, more or less? Mm, I don't know, something, something like 20 meters. But uh, one more thing, uh, usually for, for such application, um, customer need oil um, quenching equipment, but not only. Sometimes happen that, that high pressure of, of quenching is uh, good enough. Everything depends from the uh, cross section size of the, of the uh, parts and so on and so on. Okay, speaking about uh, size, what we can talk more about? Special, special, specific size of the working zone. I will add maybe one more thing to, to let's say, to explain or, or compare a little bit more that the size of the equipment, because the 3.4 meter, you can imagine that this is size like, like giraffe have. Ah, good comparison. So we can put one giraffe. It is not. Fern. It's not recommended uh, <laughs> because of. Yes, of, of course. Of uh, half of, of I, giraffe and also uh, because of the fairness. I understand, but, but I like this comparison. It's, it's very, uh, very visible for me. Any other examples about uh, large working zone size in the vacuum fairness? Okay, it, it was example about um, vertical uh, solution, uh, maybe something uh, for horizontal um, fairness. In past, we, we supply also. Uh, quite a long furnace dedicated for annealing um, pipes, dedicated mm -hmm. for YouTube heat exchanger for, for a nuclear power plant. And uh, it was in total three um, furnaces, uh, long uh, 30 and 33 meter. 33 meter of what? Of the pipes? Uh, yes, of the pipes and, and uh, working zone. So working zone of the furnace 32 meters. It's a long, uh, long space. How it's it's, it's like like uh, Boeing uh, 737. Okay. Almost. Now I can imagine very large furnace, and I can I can understand that uh, to load this furnace we need also loading machine, and the total space of the equipment was. You remember? Something like, like 60 because uh, loading some such furnace or, or even more than 60 meters, even more. Good, so it means that if we talk about uh, vacuum furnaces which are very custom made, the size is 
can not be a limit, yes, for us. Exactly, everything is, uh, let's say, uh, determined by um, customer specification, by by other requirements and, and parts. And mm -hmm. sometimes happen that fairness needs to be, be really, <laughs> really huge. Yes. Okay. So we have two examples of uh, big size of furnaces. The first one was for landing gears, very, very important application. The second one was for annealing of uh, long stainless steel tubes. And what other specific examples you have in mind today? Maybe uh, something weird, something spe uh, specific can be temperature. Okay. Because what is standard temperature for vacuum furnace? For let's say typical equipment uh, for hardening for annealing, uh, it's temperature around 12, uh, 1200 yes, degrees. Maximum standard temperature of furnace is 1350 Celsius. Something degrees. like that. Yes. Typical processes for hardening is a little bit above 1000 Celsius degrees. 1200 Celsius for high speed steel. But if we talk about something special, what? Do, what do you mean by special temperature or special high temperature? High temperature, for example, equipment for uh, 2400 uh, degrees, dedicated for, for, let's say, special processes. Okay, it's uh, two times more than typical standard exactly, furnace. Exactly. What was the application? The what applica can be the application of it? The application uh, was gr graphite purification mm -hmm. in, uh, let's say, high temperature uh, condition. And uh, the, the temperature was one factor, and the other factor was uh, uh, gases used use for, for, for purification. Okay, but and what about the, the temperature? The higher temperature, the better and more efficient purification inside. Yes? Exactly, exactly. Do you remember how many ppm of ash there is at the end in the, in the parts uh, after the process? Something like like five, like Something. like five ppm. It is many times uh, less than typical um, product on the beginning half, and after 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 let's say the the gas flow and the temperature influence uh, okay. on the end process pr product was really clean. Pavel, the last maybe not the last, but the next question about the industries for this application. The equipment uh, usually is dedicated for, for graphite producer, for, for purification of a graphite product, dedicated for, for, for different applications, for, for electronics uh, mostly, for some special uh, uh, product. Mm -hmm. If we talk, because normally we talk about heat treatment of uh, steel and different alloys, if we talk about just uh, for a moment about graphite uh, products, just few examples of different uh, graphite processes are dedicated, you said, for electronic, but what other vacuum furnaces can be used for what other uh, industries? But do you mean high temperature? Not only high temperature. Generally graphite heat treatment or vacuum furnaces dedicated for graphite processing. Okay, um, so let's say second part or second type of uh, equipment dedicated for, 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 for graphite is um, furnaces for uh, carbonization of uh, um, breaking disc. Uh, so breaking disc, you mean yes. also we talk Bra about aerospace or racing yes. cars? Yes, yes. In, in racing and in aerospace uh, are used um, special uh, uh, graphite uh, ceramics uh, disc, which uh, are resistant for, for, let's say, high temperature and uh, Working I ask you by, about this because it's also an example that we cannot use a standard and typical vacuum furnace for such process. Okay, so exactly. we have... The process is usually really long uh, in high temperature and because of that, and also in gas flow, and because of that furnace is equipped with, with some, something, like so, you said, weird. So we have second example, I mean the graphite purification. And any other example related to temperature? Mm, yeah, we have also sintering furnace, which which operate with hydrogen atmosphere. The difference is that 
uh, typical isolation for graphite furnace, for, for, for vacuum furnace, graphite cannot be used together with, with hydrogen mm -hmm. gas because it has some reduction, uh, let's say, properties. properties. Yeah. And because of that, such furnace is usually screen metal, mm -hmm. isolated, and it also some kind of challenge use. Uh, screen isolation on so high temperature, for example, over 1500 degrees. That was my question. What are typical temperatures for sintering processes? Oh, let's say it, it starts from 1200 degrees, but the, the limit is... This depends from, from the material, but usually 1800. Okay, this is interesting because for me, the powder metals uh, industry it's uh, from one hand, it's uh, very now still developing in, uh, in 3D printing or additive manufacturing, but in terms of larger scale production, there is a still a big need of uh, sintering equipment. Exactly, it's really let's say, popular method of, of, of production. Uh, not uh, all of uh, sintering belong to va vacuum technology, but fa for some application, vacuum furnace, for some special application, vacuum furnaces are, mm -hmm. are used. Perfect. So we have three type two. For now, we have two type of uh, examples. I mean, the size of the furnace, the temperature and what other issues you see in terms of specific custom-made furnaces. We can also mention about uh, vacuum level, because okay. typ typical um, vacuum level for um, vacuum furnaces is something like uh, 10 to minus 2 uh, mm -hmm. for brazing application, let's say, uh, nickel brazing application is something around 10 to minus 4, 10 to minus uh, 5. Yes, so we, normally we work between 10 to minus 2 and 10 to minus 4 millibar. Yeah, exactly. Standard vacuum yeah. levels. But sometimes, for example, for, for brazing um, vacuum interrupter, vacuum switches uh, uh, required is, is uh, something better like uh, 10 to minus 8. Okay, with uh, which type of pumps we can achieve it? Uh, usually it's turbo molecular pump or cryogenic pump, something, something better than diffusion. Okay, and what kind of application you know? Like I said, uh, this is a brazing of vacuum interrupter. Uh, it can be also some uh, medical application, um, cleaning application for, for semiconductor uh, industry. Okay, so we can go, in, in terms of the custom-made furnace, in terms of the vacuum level, we can go for a very deep uh, vacuum, but sometimes I know that uh, in terms of vacuum furnaces, we work not only in the vacuum itself, but we work with, dif we work with different atmospheres. And how about this? Yeah, mm, vacuum is, is, is one issue that 10 to minus 8 is something like, like, like in cosmos. Uh -huh. we, we, we can observe, but... Uh, it's a cosmic atmosphere. Yes, but it's, it's uh, usually um, uh, So now we, for, we can for say that we build, we do in a rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> we can say like that. Yes, yes and uh, like you said, from opposite uh, hand, uh, it also different gases which can be used for, for the process. For example, many times in um, aviation, um, nitrogen gas is prohibited, and because mm -hmm. of that, we are using uh, we are using argon. Mm -hmm. uh, if we want to uh, increase uh, hardenability, then many times helium um, uh, gas is recommended. But this is of in terms of quenching. But yes. in terms of processing, do you have anything? In yes, mind? B b uh, in terms of uh, processing, uh, for example, helium gases can be used. Um, of course, for, for carburizing processes, we, mm -hmm. have, we have carburizing gases like uh, acetylene. Great. Summarizing. If we talk about large size furnaces, one of the examples was furnaces dedicated for landing gears. We delivered many furnaces for landing gears with oil quenching, with gas quenching, uh, double, triple chamber, even a single chamber. You mentioned about 4.3 meter 
comparing to giraffe. You talk about furnaces for high temperature, you talk about furnaces for high vacuum and furnaces with a mixture of different gases in, inside. I understand that custom-made furnace means that we build the furnace based on a specific requirement of customer and that cannot be used where well, cannot be used as standard equipment am i right yes we, we built um, according uh, let's say customer needs and also our experience okay from let's say different project uh, because many many times we make application dedicated for some other equipment which have, let's say, something uh, similar with uh, previous uh, projects. So in this case, I can imagine that we can ask or suggest if any company has a, any specific project dedicated for heat treatment in the vacuum furnace, we are open for discussion. Yes, exactly, because m many times we, let's say, connect different uh, requirements like temperature, vacuum uh, or let's say huge uh, working zone in, in one project. Perfect. Thank you Pavel very much for discussion. <laughs>